My name is Tyler Bragginson, and I'm an Applications Manager for Hawk Ridge Systems. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to maintain appearances while applying material properties. Here you can see I have a wheel design that I've finished working on. I took the time to apply some custom appearances to it to make it look as realistic as possible. Applying custom appearances can take a considerable amount of time. After I've spent all this time, I realize I need to apply a material so I can get an idea for the weight of my wheel. When I go in to apply the material, this time choosing aluminum 6061 alloy, upon applying the material, however, you might notice that some of your appearances disappear. This is because the default behavior is that when a material is applied, it also applies appearances to match the material. Those appearances are applied at the part level. When we apply appearances, we get the ability to select which level we'd like to apply the appearance at, the part, the body, the feature, or the face. Part level appearances are the lowest level, meaning that body appearances will overwrite a part appearance, feature appearances will overwrite both, and face appearances will overwrite all of them. So when a material is applied, it applies the material appearance at the part level. Therefore, my original black appearance is overridden by the material appearance looking like aluminum. To restore my appearance, I'll go ahead and hit undo and get my appearance back. I still want to apply the material, however, to get the idea of how much my wheel weighs. I'm going to go back in to edit the material, reselect 6061 aluminum, but before I hit apply, I want to go to my appearance tab. From the appearance tab, we can actually see what appearance it's going to apply. We also have the ability to deselect apply appearance of 6061. By deselecting this, when we apply the material, it won't apply the appearance, leaving our custom appearances alone. Now I can successfully take a look at the mass of my wheel without modifying my appearances. Today we took a look at how to maintain appearances when applying material properties. Thanks for watching.